My personal highlight um, at ASCO this year has been um, the publication or the presentation of the study of nivolumab AVD versus brentuximab AVD. Um, you know, fortunately, I um, have become a lymphoma doctor in an era where these drugs were either becoming or became available to patients in the relapsed refractory setting, and seeing them being moved up front in a way that the majority of people at one year remain progression-free from either regimen is one in and of itself a big uh, achievement um, for advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma. But furthermore, um, nivolumab AVD has significantly less toxicity than brentuximab AVD. So while brentuximab AVD did pose uh, a survival advantage over ABVD and was largely adopted um, by, by most of our lymphoma colleagues in advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma, um, because nivolumab AVD is far less toxic, doesn't require GCSF support, doesn't have the high, a high risk of febrile nutrition and most notably doesn't have a high risk of neuropathy like we've seen with BVAVD, um, this represents a, a very important um, new option for patients um, who have newly diagnosed advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, certainly we're all looking forward to seeing if those curves remain um, separated uh, over time and whether that confers a survival benefit. But I would say um, personally, even if those were found to be equal with regards to survival, um, having an equally effective regimen that's far less toxic, that doesn't require GCSF support, is a major achievement for our field.